Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, what we got here is an X Scooter Thunder. Uh, it's a pretty nice machine, has nice aggressive tires, uh, disc brakes, belt drive, and full suspension. Um, didn't have much of an issue when I got it. I mean, of course it had bad fuel. Fuel lines were bad, so I had to replace those. And the grumet, or grommet, however you say that, coming out of the gas tank where the fuel lines go in, was cracked and leaking. So that was all replaced. Um, also, everything from the intake back was removed and in pieces. Um, the previous owner had bought a new carburetor, took off the old one, but I don't think he knew how to put the new one back on. Anyway, the old one um, physically broke. The top here where the throttle pulls on is plastic and it has this plastic uh, lip going around and on the old one that lip broke off so right there is supposed to be look like that anyway so put the new one on you know it started right up adjusted the pilot jet or sorry adjusted this screw which I assume was the high speed jet and it ran pretty well you know I thought it was fixed put it away Anyway, since then I've been having a lot of trouble starting it, and even when it does get going, it doesn't accelerate well. So I think the jet is misadjusted. Also, I could not find the pilot jet, so I need to research that a bit. You know, on the old carburetor, I, th I thought I saw someone saying there was a screw right down the center shaft here that you could adjust for the pilot. Uh, on the new one, it does not look like there is any way to adjust that unless that's just a cap which it could be um, so that's the first thing we got to get somehow adjust the jets properly second thing is uh, throttle return two issues one is it's not quite hitting the set screw so it's staying slightly at a high idle and this cable you can adjust and it has been adjusted fully I can't get any more slack on it, so I need to take a closer look at what's causing that. Also, I went to start it up the other day, and the thing practically drove away from me. The This is sticking, so if I go all the way, you can see it's not going back. It's not even close to that set screw, so it's almost at full throttle. And, uh, you know, you can pop it back with your finger. So I need to, you know, take this linkage off and see... Uh, what's going on there you know is it hanging up in the carb or is it something with the cable also I've seen some scooters that actually have a spring that go between here and here to help it return so potentially when the previous owner took it apart maybe that spring was uh, lost so th those are the two really main issues I need to focus on sorry three um, the, the jet adjustment the return and then you know getting it to go all the way so a little more slack in that cable and then i think we're good i don't think there's anything else that i need to do with this so let's uh let's get started So you can see there are some signs of life. It's 
definitely running too lean. I did try adjusting the screw out a full turn and really made no difference. Um, that, that does seem to be the high speed jet. So let me look into this a bit more and see if I can find a pilot adjustment. Okay, so this does look to be some sort of a, a cap meant to hide the adjustment. At least that's what I'm hoping. So yeah, I do see something down there. Um, can't quite tell what it is though. So I'm betting it's a flathead screwdriver, like the little one, so let me go grab that. Okay, yeah, so this little screwdriver does fit in there and there is a slot for it. So I'm gonna adjust it out a half, maybe a quarter turn. And now I'm just gonna restart it and, and tweak it a little bit more. Okay, good, it's idling real nice now. Uh, when I throttled it up, it still didn't sound great, but it's probably because the pilot jet now, sorry, not the pilot jet, the main jet probably needs to be tweaked a little bit since I adjusted the pilot. Uh, the pilot is always supplying fuel to the engine, even at high speed, so most likely high speed probably is getting now more fuel than is optimal. So I will also adjust that. All right, so I'm not sure how much of that you saw. My phone loves to shut down when it gets cold. Anyway, it is adjusted. It was actually very hard to do because when you throttle this thing up, the whole engine shakes so much that I can't keep the screwdriver on there. And I couldn't really hear much of a difference. Um, so then I went to just testing it with the throttle response and it ended up being about two and a half turns out. Seems to get the best performance. Um, I might check that again later, but you know, for now I do want to focus in on that and see if we can't get that resolved. Okay, so I'm going to start by removing 
this cable if I can from the carburetor and then try actuating the carburetor and see if it's binding on the carburetor and uh, based on that it'll tell me you know if it's not binding when I take the cable off then it's a cable problem and obviously if it's binding without the cable then it's a carburetor problem Hey, look at that. So I noticed the carburetor was actually a little loose. Um, that doesn't seem to be causing the problem. So maybe it was just hanging on the air filter itself. Yeah, it was just hanging up there. So this probably isn't gonna be a very exciting video. So that problem is solved just by doing that. Uh, I will have to tighten the carburetor up a little bit. And the other issue I want to deal with is this play. Um, there should be more slack in this line. And I think the issue is uh, right here. I don't know if you can see that, but this piece here is just completely loose. It's not actually screwed into anything. And it kind of looks like you know, there's something maybe that shouldn't be here. So I'm wondering if I take this piece off. I can tell the threads are different, but, you know, if I take that off, then I can put this through. And maybe if I can just find a nut that's the right size, I can put a nut on there, which will hold it, you know, to whatever uh, adjustment that it needs to be. So uh, let me take this apart and see what we're dealing with. Yeah, so it kind of would have made sense if this threaded into that, and then you could make an adjustment there, but it doesn't. And this actually looks like it might. No, threads are definitely different. I'm just going to see on the old one if it fits there. Nope, same issue. So, it's a bit of a mystery. There seems to be something missing here. Maybe these aren't the right parts. So, I'm going to quickly uh, take a look on the internet and see uh, if I can find another scooter like this and see what the setup should look like. Okay, so I couldn't find any close-up pictures of what this is supposed to look like. I did see some from a distance and it looks like there is something missing. It almost looks like a plastic piece that's joining these somehow. Um, I don't have that. Uh, what I do have is I found a few uh, nuts here that are the same thread. So what I was thinking originally was doing was, you know, just putting this in here and I thought it would go all the way through. And then I was just going to use a nut, you know, potentially on this side to tighten it on or both sides to lock it in. Uh, but I don't seem to have that luxury because the threads here do not match the threads here. So it goes in a little bit. And actually, even though it only goes in a little bit, it locks it on pretty good. So I might just leave it like that, put the nut on to just tighten it against that plate to help hopefully things stay in place and you know that gives me <laughs> still doesn't give me a lot of slack so on second thought I think I'm gonna drill this out a little bit so I can get this in you know it's about a third of an inch more and if I need to I'll put the nut on it so it doesn't go in too far you know, and then I can make adjustments on the cable itself. 
Uh, this currently is tight as far as it goes. So what I'd like to do is be able to loosen this up and at least have a little bit of play on the cable so I can make fine adjustments as needed. But right now I can only bring it all the way in and it's still not enough. So I do need to fix this down here. There's a similar adjustment up on the handlebar grip, which is in all the way as well. So once I get this in, I should be able to, you know, make the final adjustments with these. Okay, good. So I think ideally I would just put the nut on this side and then use the adjusters on the cable. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be enough clearance on the carburetor to leave this nut on uh, while getting the plate on. So let me just uh, test fit it and see if it will work. So yeah, it is hitting this plastic piece here. I'm not really sure if that serves any purpose. It might be just a stop for this um, throttle plate. So I guess plan B would be to potentially cut that off because I'm not going to be able to pull it any further than that nut. Or I could just choose to not have anything, but then it's going to move around a bit. And that may not be the end of the world. Yeah, so potentially if you cut that off, you could get in a situation where you open up the throttle and then it might overextend, which would actually start to close it a little bit. Um, not a big deal. So I think the best thing would be to just take this chunk of plastic off and then I can put the nut on the side that I want to. And that'll give me at least a quarter inch, maybe a third inch of clearance. See if that's enough. Yep, looks good. Okay, so because there was so much slack, uh, this is also now can be adjusted instead of on its tightest setting. Yeah, you can see this nut was barely hanging on there. That's because I, this is also an adjustment. Um, so to fix this, I actually need to take the handle off and back this out a little bit so the nut has a little bit more to grab onto. And then the final adjustments will be made with this and the one in the back.
All right, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a pin right here that lines up with a hole on the bottom of the handlebar. So it's important to get that in the hole or else this whole assembly will be moving around when you're trying to give it throttle. There we go. Okay, good. So that goes all the way back. You can actually hear it hitting the, uh, the screw for the idle speed. Um, the handlebar assembly, I don't need to take apart again. So I am just gonna make sure everything is tightened up and then I'll just um, torque this appropriately, put the filter on and start it again and see what happens. Okay, good.
hope this helped someone. Thanks for watching.